Uh, Use headphones for the best experience. Come in. Uh, oh, nothing, sorry. Is this the new maid you're bringing me? Where did you get her from again? You found her unconscious near the border. Are you sure she's not with the enemy? Hmm, no recollection of her past, but her abilities are praiseworthy and she's ready to serve our kingdom. Okay, thanks soldiers, return to your post. And you, maid, you stay here. You made it. it! It worked! Oh my god, I was so worried about you! My heart almost jumped out of my chest when I saw you. I almost blew your cover. What? Of course I'd recognize you! And I have to say, this hair color and hairstyle looks crazy good on you. But anyway, tell me. How have you been? I want to know everything. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't even let you properly say goodbye back then when we parted ways. Yeah, I remember it like it was yesterday. We found this enemy criminal who was to be executed for murdering multiple soldiers from our country. There's really no need to thank me though, it was just a gut feeling and I went with it and told them that I'd interrogate you myself. Turns out you were just a regular person who was framed by a corrupt soldier who had been secretly killing our own. Yes, after some investigation we actually found him guilty and executed him for murder and high treason. About that... No. We couldn't tell your country you're innocent. Sorry. Well, we made a political decision. If, you, if we reveal you're innocent, we'd be falsely accusing one of your country's people and executing them unjustly, which would be breaking the treaty. And if we gave you back saying we didn't execute you, well, let's just say I would be killed for not killing a death row convict and the entire army of our kingdom would be in an uproar. No, actually, I'm guessing half of them would feel betrayed and half of them would follow in my footsteps and believe in their general no matter what. And these two sides would fight. It could even cause a civil war. So, I'm really sorry, but it has to be this way. We're just leaving it as it is and keeping both countries happy. No, you're downplaying it. I I can't apologize enough. You're innocent, but now you can't live in our country or yours. You're stuck here from now on, working as a maid to the enemy army general. You're happy you can do that. What? I'm the only one who believed you, despite being from the enemy side. You know, I am a human too. Sure, I'm an army general who can send thousands of men to their deaths, but that doesn't mean I don't hear when someone cries out in despair. Regarding that, I'm absolutely amazed by your acting skills to this day. You were crying in the interrogation room, but when I <laughs> blew your brains out, you didn't move a muscle. Oh, how did I do that? You can call it a blank, I guess. Basically, I casted the normal spell, but tuned the power all the way down to the minimum, and I also turned up the flashiness. Luckily, the guys who were watching are terrible at magic, and they couldn't tell the difference. 
Then I told them to go on ahead and uh, spread a few more rumors about being a freak. Anyway, they respected that and I came back to send you on your way. The thing is, if you had moved just once, the soldiers would have noticed and that would be the end of me. Yeah, sorry about slapping you like that, but I had so much adrenaline in my bloodstream I couldn't think of anything better. Okay, but after I assured you you're alive, and I still feel bad for that brief goodbye, if you can even call it that, I basically just told you to change your hair color, cut your hair, and change your name, and I sent you off with nothing except come back as a maid. You're saying don't worry about it, but I want to give this the attention and significance it deserves. But maybe... Maybe you're right. No point in dwelling on the past when we've finally met again. Why so serious? Well, I wanted to say this even way back then, but there was no time. So, I'm gonna say it now. I think I love you. Your eyes back then, when you were crying your eyes out, pleading your innocence, they were so honest and screaming, help me. And in the process of doing that, I fell in love. R really? You didn't want to ruin the heartwarming moment of our reunion by confessing and potentially getting rejected. What can I say? I guess the army general is prepared to take some risks. Whoa, hey! Hold your horses. We don't need to rush things. You're my maid now. We have all the time in the world. But I think it's wiser to not do anything yet. It would make some people suspicious if I got all chummy and lovey-dovey with a brand new maid. I don't mind having some rumors spread about me if the soldiers don't stop listening to my commands. So I'm saying let's start slowly getting together. In like uh, two weeks, a month's time? Yeah, and after that we can slowly and very discreetly and inconspicuously start showing the public we're getting closer. And maybe a year after that, we can announce our marriage. Wait, maybe I'm getting too ahead of myself. Oh, great. You want to marry. <laughs> you see the strategic thinking I used for battles, even when I think about our relationship? You might just be right, you know. But sorry. Nothing will happen tonight. But we can at least do this much. Your lips feel so good on mine. It was so worth waiting for you. Yes, after some investigation, we actually found him guilty and it... Yes, yes, after some execution... Oh, well, well, kind of, kind of fucking execution. We, we're just leaving it as it is. <sighs> You're innocent. <clears throat> Fuck my ass, dude. I'm absolutely amazed. <sighs> Basically, I casted the normal spell, but tuned the power of the way all the fucking ass. What am I saying? Anyway, they respected that and came out. I basically just told you to change your hair color, haircut, and you change your fuck. I basically just I basically just told you to change your hair color, cut your hair, and change your. Mm. <sighs> um.